The coffee shop that baked and brewed its way into Canadian culture is getting a facelift. Tim Horton's come a long way since its opening 50 years ago at the corner of Ottawa and Dunsmuir in Hamilton. And today the chain announced plans to revamp the first Tim Horton store to celebrate its past and prepare for the future. Sean Lee Thong shows us more. The original Tim Hortons, a store brought to life by a former Hamilton police officer and an NHL star, appear to some like it's been around forever. A hundred billion years old. More like 50, but all the while, Store One has sat modestly at the corner it's made famous. Well, other than this plaque on the wall, there's very few indicators that this is indeed the first location of any Tim Hortons anywhere. But when the new design is unveiled later this year, the COO tells us that will soon change. It's going to be very futuristic looking, but also pay homage to our past. The new location announced today will be moved out to the sidewalk. It'll have two patios, be two stories tall, and after buying two of the houses next door, they will expand to 4,000 square feet, massive for a Tim Hortons. But in order to pay homage to the past, Tim's will also create an area dedicated to the history at this location. So we're actually building a, a kind of a, a walk down memory lane, if you want to call it, on the second floor. So you can literally travel through time, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s. The look has those who are at today's announcement impressed. This is awesome. It's going to be amazing. I think it's really nice because it's on my street. It's beautiful. I think it's going to make Ottawa Street look even more gorgeous. And Mayor Bertina says it's just another sign of a city on its way up. To have this 50th anniversary, put a new uh, face on, on the old store, shows that they respect the past, but they're building for the future. And that's what we need to do as a city. Nick, now construction will begin almost immediately because they want to get it done, believe it or not, by the end of the year. Also, in the meantime, they're going to host a block party in the coming weeks for the residents in the area to celebrate a little of the history that they've got in their backyard, Nick. Yeah, that is really going to be something to see when it's finished. Thank you, Sean Lethong, live tonight outside the original Tim Hortons.